Hi guys. I think I'm live now. There's nobody here, but hopefully some people will join me shortly. I'm pulling up my chat. I'm going to be doing a clothing haul today. Yesterday I did shoes, accessories, and handbags. And so today I am going to be doing just clothing. And I was going to break it out into three hauls, but hello, how's it going? How do I say that? Kawaii Cactus Rebecca? That's an awesome name. I was going to do this in three hauls, um, but now I'm going to do it in two because three would mean that I would do one. Good morning, Mel. Uh, three would mean that I do one today, tomorrow, and then one on Saturday, and I don't want to do one on Saturday. Hi, Sunlight Magic Resell. Hi, Naomi. Hi, McKenna. Thanks for joining me this morning, guys. Again. Hi, Kelly. I'm glad you caught me live also. Okay, I'm just pulling up the chat real quick here. I thought I had already done it, but let me try that again. <sighs> How are you guys doing this morning? Are you done with your shipping yet? Are you just starting? Are you listing? What's up? What's up this morning? Hello, Carolyn from Tennessee. I've never been to Tennessee. Good morning, Sarah. Oh, afternoon for you. Yes. So I guess it is like lunchtime for some folks. So if you're having lunch right now, bon appetit. Okay, now I got my chat up. Hi, Jamie. I think I got most everybody. Hi, Glitter Girl Style. All right. Okay, so when I first started talking, nobody was in here. So what would you say? Shipping is done. Oh, you got a Rolo thermal printer. That's awesome. I have a Dymo, which I don't know. They're probably just like the exact same thing. Um, but I love it. If you don't have a thermal printer yet, it, it's worth the money. I'm not going to lie. And I actually bought my thermal printer, um, my Dymo, but you can probably do this with a Rolo also. I bought mine on Amazon refurbished. So when you buy refurbished products or it's not even a refurbished, I think it was just used. You know, when you see like Amazon used products, when you buy them on Amazon used, you can usually get them for like 30 to $40 cheaper. So I recommend doing it. Chelsea, you just finished listing. That's awesome. Hi, the bargain broad. Hi, Lauren. What's up, girl? Hi, Sin. What does it say? I still haven't figured out how to set my dime. Oh, you haven't figured out how to set your dimo up? I feel like, I feel like Jenna, who is empty hanger on YouTube. I feel like she's got a video on how, how to set up your dimo. So I would maybe check that out um, because I remember it took me a few times when I first got one. Hi Robin, Glitter Girl Style, I'm glad that you caught me live. Hi Jenemy, uh, Jenemy won my giveaway, kind of as like a runner up. <laughs> I had to choose again. So anyway, Jenemy won my giveaway that I did on Instagram. So if you're not following me there, I do one from time to time. Ultimate Coupon Lady from Chicago, hello. The topic for today is, it's a haul. So if you like hauls, stay for the haul. Um, or if you just wanna hear somebody rambling in the background while you work, you can also stay for that. Uh, Thread Envy got her Dymo on eBay. Yeah, I mean, buy it secondhand if you can. I mean, assuming it still continues to work. Hi, Tierney. Okay, so I said this at the, at the beginning when nobody was here, but I was going to do this in three hauls. I'm going to do it in two hauls because three would mean that I'm doing a haul on Saturday morning and I don't really want to spend my Saturday morning doing a haul. So, and, um, I'm really weird and OCD about how I like to do stuff. And so I have to do a haul before I photograph item. That's just how I like it. Oh, I just got a notification. Congrats. They purchased my item. Cool. I'm Poshmark. Uh, oh, Lauren has a Rolo. Yeah, I don't know. Rolo, Dymo, they're probably like all the same, but a thermal printer in general is absolutely worth getting. Um, okay, I guess I'm going to get started. All right, okay, here we go. I don't know what's on top. So I kind of threw some extra items on here so I could beef up this haul and make it go faster between today and tomorrow. So the first item is not very exciting. Um, however, let me uh, preface this by saying this item is from when I went last Saturday with my friend Ty. Uh, she had found a big bag of maternity items. And so 
this was one of the items in the maternity lot. I sent some of the items to one of my friends, uh, and then I kept a few pieces that I just thought I could sell myself. So yeah. Okay. So the first one is Liz Lang maternity, which I think this is just sold at Target. So nothing special, but it is just this, um, you know, little cotton dress. You can see it's got, what is it? Like the ruching here for the belly expansion. <laughs> so anyways, this is just a size medium, but I thought a little black dress, somebody might want it for summer if they're pregnant. So Okay, again, not a super exciting item. It gets better, I promise. But these are a pair of J. Crew men's shorts. Um, I'm actually going to let my husband try these before I attempt to sell them because we're going on vacation, like I keep saying, and he needs some shorts. I needed some shorts. I went to Old Navy yesterday and I got myself some shorts, so only the fanciest for me. Okay, next item is in assets um <laughs> i don't know why i paused there but this is assets if you're not familiar with this this is um a division of Spanx, uh created by sarah blakely i believe they sell this at target it's a size extra large um and i love selling Spanx. so if you're not selling it you should hop on it hi everyone who just joined hi julia uh hi patty hi pandas pickens Hi, Savannah. How's it going? Okay, um, you probably are all following Savannah on YouTube, but if you're not, you should, which she is street savvy in the chat. She has had the most amazing past few days at her Goodwill outlet that she goes to in Denver. She found one shirt yesterday, a vintage t-shirt that's worth $900. So yeah, Savannah, you can elaborate on that in the chat if you want. <laughs> Okay, uh, all right, uh, to keep going. Um, so next is this Lululemon tank. I'm so bad at this. I never know the style names. I always have to look this stuff up. I only know that it's Lululemon because of that little sticker there. Um, the color, it's, I don't know. I was, the coloring is like a little dingy and faded, but I'll still sell Lululemon any day of the week, regardless of the condition, so. Yeah. Oh, I don't know the size on that. I might as well tell you. Um, if you don't know, you can find the size dots inside of the bra liner. So this is a size six. Sometimes the size dots are missing, which is a pain in the butt. Sometimes you can find them on the inside hem at the bottom. So it's worth checking around. Savannah says, it's been crazy. I'm recording a haul today. Yeah, girl, your living room must be insane. That's why I'm doing this live because... Um, you can kill two birds with one stone. You don't have to upload anything. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Sorry. Uh, next item I have is a pair of free people jeans. They're like white jeans and they have a button fly. It's, they're kind of a weird design. They're like a flare and kind of like almost Reminds me of cargo pants. I don't know, this is a weird style, but I'm not gonna pass up the opportunity to sell them because I get free people at the bins. These are size 31. Let's see, what else do we got? Okay, this is, I believe this is a Madewell dress. How cute is this? It's been washed, it's just a little wrinkly, and it's got this open back, and it ties across the back there. Um, this is a size four, yeah. Nice dress for nice dress for summer. Um, these are another pair of J. Crew Club shorts that I'm gonna give to my husband if they fit him, so he can have those. Okay, next I have a what is this? Oh, <laughs> this isn't anything crazy special. It's just Jones Studio, but it is a plus size, so that's why I grabbed it. It's a 22-24. I liked. Oops. That part is supposed to go on the inside. I just like the colors and I thought sleeveless for summertime would be nice. So yeah. Okay, next is, what is this? This is another little summer top that I thought would be fun. It is lush and it's a size large. Um, I don't know if it's exclusively sold at Nordstrom, but I do know that lush is sold there. And it's just like a little off the shoulder, three quarter sleeve, lightweight tropical print top 
Um, let's see. Sorry. Oh yes, man, you should totally go live. Yeah, you really should. It's just like, it's so nice killing two birds with one stone. And then it's great being able to talk to people like is happening right now. So, um, okay, so next I have a Holding Horses. This is sold at Anthropology. This one's a size 12. This is really cute. Just this little denim top with the, what is this called? Like crochet back. Um, just a little button down top. If you're not familiar and most of us probably are if you're um, if you're wondering if something is anthropology you can just look at the RN number on the care tag and it'll say 66170 however it also says that for urban outfitters because they are owned by the same company so you just have to figure out which is which um oh, where's the rest of that oh. okay next item I have is this Express design studio dress it's a size 4 it's actually missing the belt I don't know I'm not in love with this. I mean, it's cute, but it has pockets. I'm not in love with it, but I'm going to sell it. You know, now that I say that I'm not in love with it, it'll probably sell really quickly. So what do I know about fashion? Um, next I have... Okay, this is another maternity dress. This is another Liz Lang maternity, but this is a real cute summer dress. Somebody who's pregnant will appreciate a little lightweight maxi sorry I'm trying to figure out how this goes here can you see and it's super long just with this like what is this print called is this iCat I always forget let me know if it's iCat okay next I have oh I don't know what this was this was in that bag of maternity stuff so 860 has anyone ever heard of this I don't know if you can see that this is a size medium black eyelet cute little dress yeah I don't know hopefully good for summer um another maternity item this is another Liz Lang maternity size medium just lightweight cotton tee okay what else do we got here this is, okay, I've never picked this up before, but I just like the print. It's called Blue Steel, and it's a, I don't know, it says it's a PP. What does PP mean? Do you guys know? Like, super petite? <laughs> but just this, um, I don't know, what did you call this? Like a tribal print dress? Is it a dress or a romper? It's a romper. I think that's why I grabbed it. So, Yeah. There you go. Petite, petite, right? Is that, a, is that really a thing, Lauren? Petite, petite. Okay, here's another maternity piece. This is a Gap, size medium. Just a black cotton dress, maternity. Oh my gosh, sorry, I'm hitting stuff. Okay, this is another one that I didn't comp, but I thought it looked cool. I'm gonna zip it up to give you full effect here. Uh, super petite. <laughs> yeah, it is super petite. Okay. This is a sleeveless hoodie, and the brand is called P-O-L, Pole. Do you guys know about this? It's probably just like a little boutique brand or something, but I thought it looked kind of cool. I don't even know if it's a men's or a women's. Can you see this? Yeah, and but check out the back. I thought that was kind of awesome. So, I don't know. I don't know. What are your thoughts on this? So it's a size small. I don't, I don't even know if it's a men's or a women's. So, uh, Stacy, you should be listing, but watching me is more fun. You can do both at once, right? Just like have me playing in the background. That also works. Okay. Uh, next item I have is this American girl dress. Uh, this is adorable. I think this is probably one of those things where it's like you can match your doll. I've never found an American girl piece, and I was so excited because I totally have... Uh, I totally had an American Girl doll when I was little. So this is a size extra small. Um, and I don't know, I'll have to look up which doll that it went to because, it, you know, that's how it works. Savannah, you're shipping while you're watching me. That's awesome. Glad to be working with you this morning. Um, these are a pair of Old Navy Pixie Pants. Um, I've sold these, not these exact ones before, but this style... They usually have these really fun prints, so 
I picked this one up. I think it's like ankle length and it's a size four. Speaking of Old Navy, hi Tina, how's it going? Um, speaking of Old Navy, when I was there yesterday, they had a lot of lobster print items, which is kind of random, but they had it in like the women's section, men's and boys. And the lady who was working there said that it has been selling out. So lobster print for summer, perhaps? I don't know, worth thinking about. Um, Jessica, you're working and watching me. Yay, I'm glad that I'm working with everybody. Okay, this, <laughs> I don't know. I picked it up and I already have one of these. So I'm gonna just add a quantity to my listing now because I already have one of these for sale. But it's exhilaration, so nothing special. It's a size extra large and it's just this jumpsuit, uh, floral maroon jumpsuit. I actually bought it for me last year and then I never wore it. I just didn't feel super confident wearing it. So yeah, let's see. Um, Tina, you have a lobster dress in your closet. It's a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. So lobster print for the summer, you guys. Uh, Keisha ordered the lobster print pixie pants at Old Navy yesterday. Yes. Yeah, I'm telling you guys. Like if you see, I'm going to just guess that like every sea creature should be purchased. So hi, Tori. How's it going? Um, at first though, when I saw the dress, I thought it was like a crab on there and I was like, do I want to have crabs all over me? Like, I just feel like that's giving some sort of weird message, but yeah. Uh, Lauren said Lily Pulitzer makes a lobster print, so it's so cute. Um, speaking of Lily Pulitzer, I got a Pottery Barn catalog in the mail yesterday and the first three pages were all Lily Pulitzer, so they must be doing a, a collaboration with Lily Pulitzer, so it was real cute, but I was... Like, I can't spend the money on that. Okay, uh, here's another exhilaration piece. This is just a size large maxi dress. It does tie here in the front chestal area. <laughs> um, and it's kind of this marigold style. Actually, it's more of like a midi. It's not a maxi. Okay, next item I have is a men's Orvis shirt. This is a size double XL. And I picked this one up because it's vented. So if you're not uh, familiar with this style or this thing, you should be picking up vented shirts, especially going into summer um, because people wear it for outdoors, both men's and women's pieces. So yeah, Brian, it's your first time catching me live. Hey, how's it going? Doing some power sharing. That's awesome. Okay, next piece is a BCBG Max Azria dress. It's a size medium. And it is like a halter style. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Here we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. Um, yeah. So just this pretty floral dress. I actually might send, and probably a few of these pieces, I might send to thread up, especially the BCBG pieces, because it seems to do well there. So just my two cents. Okay. Here is a Patagonia base layer. I think that's probably what it's called. Um, this is a, yeah, it's Capeline, which I've sold this before. This one's a size medium. I think this might be a men's, but it's just a base layer, so people wear this underneath when they're doing outdoorsy activities. Um, the next one is a Madewell plaid shirt. It's a size large. I hate this. When I wash items and then it gets like super wrinkly here, so then I have to steam it and I feel like I'm just doing double the work. So probably means that I'm filling up my dryer with too many items, but you know, yeah, there's that. Um, next is an Ann Taylor top. It's a size small. The sleeve is somewhere here. Mm -mm -mm. I think there's another sleeve. Oh, it might be one shoulder. Oh, even cuter. <laughs> so here's the long sleeve. And then it goes like this. And then it does have this belt here. Oh, this is cute. But I might send this to thread up because again, Ann Taylor seems to do well on that platform. Uh, 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 uh. Lauren said, I love all the bin hauls. The closest one to me is an hour and a half and it's no good. That sucks. And you're in Chicago. I would just think like a big city I would just assume that all big cities have good bins. So that's so strange. Like, 
That seems crazy to me. <laughs> okay, uh, this is Hannah Anderson. This is a size 160, which is probably like an eight-year-old, I'm guessing. Um, just this gingham print. At first, I kind of thought they were pajama pants, and they do have pockets, but I don't think they are. I think they're just like little summery kids' pants. So those are kind of cute. Um, Carly said, might be silly question, but are there certain brands you send to thread up and is thread up Lux worth worth it? I'm guessing. Um, are there certain brands? Well, I'm still new to selling on there, so I don't know that I have all the right answers. Um, but I've just been testing stuff. Um, since I shop at the bins and my cost is really low, my um, cost of goods is really low you know, there's pretty low risk for me to send stuff in. Um, why Thread Up Lux can be worth it is that uh, in addition to your Lux pieces that are on their Lux eligible brand list, you can also send in regular stuff like Loft and stuff like that. Um, and the benefit is that they process it quicker and they ship it back to you for free. So that's that's the, the benefit there. Um, Sorry, I'm just looking at the chat. <clears throat> Charlotte only has one, but the smaller city surrounding the city has more. Oh. Tierney says they're an hour and a half away from Chicago and the bins here are no good. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, Savannah, who is in the chat, she's street savvy. She drives, I think it's at least one or two hours one way to her bins. Her bins are really good, which that's kind of the only part that people like to see <laughs> or understand about her hauls. However, the part they don't want to see is that she's driving two to four hours round trip. Um, so she really is putting in the work um, to get that really great stuff. So claps for you, Savannah. You're awesome. Um, oh, who's this person? You... <laughs> we'll go ahead and hide that. Um, hi Tracy, thanks for coming. Um, Tori said, I ended up sending in some of my stale items with Lux items and at least made my cost of goods back on the stale items, then got faster guaranteed payout on some designer items. That's awesome. That's great. Okay, next item I've got is this Victoria's Secret pink nightgown. It's a size, I can't even tell what size this is. Sorry guys. It's some sort of size, but it's just this nautical striped print. Pink items tend to, tend to sell really well for me. Same with just Victoria's Secret lingerie in general. So, like, really well the lingerie sells for me. If you've seen any of my other hauls, um, consider picking lingerie up because it sells really well. Okay, this next item, I feel like this goes against my youth principles, but <laughs> is this Nirvana little sports bra crop top. I mean, somebody's gonna wanna wear this to a festival, but you know, the fact that H&M is selling items from my youth is a little bit sad, but you know, whatever. It's a size small. Um, the next item I have is this J. Crew tunic. I think it's a, tu no, it's a dress. I think it's a dress. It's long enough to be a dress. So there you go. Cute, does it have pockets? Yeah, it has pockets, so that's a benefit right there. Uh, uh, uh. Atlanta, Sarah says Atlanta doesn't have a bins. The only bins is in Savannah. Mm, that's four hours away. That sucks. Okay, next item I have is, what is this? Um, oh, it's Banana Republic. It's a size medium. You know what Banana Republic looks like. It's just a maxi dress with this like racer back, tee back style. I don't know, just real pretty. That might go to thread up also because they sell that stuff fairly well. Uh, next is a vintage dress. I haven't even totally looked at this thing, but I just thought it looked so pretty that I had to grab it. It's got this empire waist with this, I don't know what you call, it's almost like an accordion style top. And then it's super long. It keeps going. <laughs> It'll look really pretty once I put it on a mannequin or hang it, but I couldn't pass up a really cute vintage dress. So, you know. Carly says, I used to live in Everett and was right down the road from one. Now I'm more south, but bins with two littles does not sound fun. Yeah, it's tough to go to the bins with kids. So, and I'm right near Everett too. 
Okay, so I'm fairly certain I didn't look this up, but just from looking at the tag, I think this is Johnny Was. Does anyone know? I feel like Lauren, you'll know. Is that Johnny Was? Um, so this is Intimates, it says. This is size extra large. And it's like a little camisole top with the embroidery at the bottom. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just cute. So it's, you know, clearly like sleepwear or something. Does anyone know? Is that Johnny Was? I'll look it up, but you know, if you know right now. Okay, next I have a Broadway and Broom dress. So this is in the family of brands of Madewell, J. Crew, all that sort of stuff. It's a size four. It feels like silk, but I'm not sure. And it's got this meshy back. Just a dress with pockets. Mm, it is 100% silk, so there we go. Um, This will probably go to thread up, I'm thinking. I don't know. Uh, as I've told you before, I'm picking up a lot of patriotic items. So this is one that I picked up. It's just a bikini top from Exhilaration, which is Target. So don't feel like you have to find the top and the bottom because people like buying mismatch pieces. So yeah. Uh, Tori says, I see the guitar in the background. Yours, am I secret rock star? No, my husband is. So he plays electric guitar and then he also has an acoustic because you know, that's what people do. So yeah, not me. No, I'm not as exciting. Oh, I'm just now seeing that this top has a hole in it, but it was <laughs> free people intimately. It's a size extra small. And it's like a burnout tee, but literally it got burned out. There's a hole right here. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll put this at auction. Somebody might want it. I mean, it's just like a nighttime piece. So, okay. The next one item. Okay. So I was excited to find this. Speaking of luxe items, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's Alexander Wang. And check this out. It's like a beautiful, I think this is silk, with like the chain length, button down. It's kind of long, so I don't think it's a dress, but it's a size four, so maybe on some girl it, it's a it's a dress. But yeah, it's 100% silk. At the bins, you guys. Uh, Jenemy says scarf print. Are you referring to this? Is this what this is? Scarf print? Anyway, that was really exciting. Okay, next I've got, what is this? Can I find a tag? Oh, mm, I've picked this up before. This might just be a junior's brand, so I don't know if this was smart to pick it up. It's Johnny Martin, size one. And, but it's just this cute tropical dress. So, I mean, not quite tropical. I guess those are roses, but it kind of has those tropical type colors with the frilliness on it. So, oh, I hit the guitar. <laughs> um, okay, next I have a, some sort of article of clothing. Where's the tag though? Mm, okay, I'll search for it. I think it's a romper. Isn't this cute with like, all these strappy straps and it is slightly belted there maybe the inside tag says where it's from oh uh, let's see yep here we go oh this looks like who does this look like H&M or forever 20 yeah it's H&M okay it's just a little H&M romper I'll have to figure out the size on this it kind of looks like it's maybe a large maybe maybe it could be like a sleepwear piece Tracy, you're going to have to take a road trip to Denver. Omaha bins are terrible for clothes. Yeah, you should go to Denver. It's, it's good. <laughs> um, the next piece, I'd never heard of this brand. It just kind of looked cool, so I grabbed it. It's called Knitted Dove. Has anyone ever heard of Knitted Dove? You can't really see that tag, but... Anyways, this is a size... I think it says it's a size small. And it just had a really fun, like, retro look to it it's super lightweight dress but how adorable is that it's just 100 percent cotton i don't know okay next piece this will probably no i mean maybe i'll sell this i was gonna say go to thread up but it's just motherhood maternity it's a size medium and again just a floral print but i thought it looked really pretty for summer spring 
Um, okay, next, Ty found this and asked me if I wanted it, and I couldn't say no. It's just a vintage dress, but I think there might be some stains. I, I might need to soak it or do something with it, but it's super cute. Look at this. How fun is that? There's no tags or anything on it, I believe. But, yeah, probably like a size medium if I had to guess. Uh, the Bargain Boss said Knitted Dove is an anthropology brand. Awesome. That's great. Thank you very much. Okay, next one is... Okay, not heard of this before. It's called Story with two E's. This is a size medium. And I believe this is also a romper. I just thought it looked real cute. And it's got the belt there. And kind of a little bit of an open back or a lot of an open back and it's kind of textured. Does anyone know where Story is sold at? Wouldn't that be fun if that's also anthro? I mean, it doesn't say 66170 down here, so I don't know. Hi, Marjorie. Thank you. Um, okay, the next item is this Wilford Free size large sweater. Just a cute sweater. Kind of almost like a minty green. I have like a pile building here, over here, so I'm getting pushed out. Um, all right, we're like halfway through. Okay, next is a new with tags gap maternity piece. It's a size medium. Oh Lord, well, you're gonna have to use your imagination on this because this is the liner that goes inside here. <laughs> Maybe I can stuff it back in here real quick. But anyways, it's just a dress. <laughs> and it's navy blue, button front, longish. Um, oh, Story is a Nordstrom brand. Bargain Boss, you got that knowledge. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, so, so let's see if you know where this one is. <laughs> Do you know where Lumiere is sold? This is a size large, and I just thought this was real fun, this colorful striped sweater. I kind of want to keep it for myself, but I'll sell it because I don't really, I'm not trying to keep things for myself. Uh, the next piece is, this is just a cabbie skirt, and again, I might send this to thread up, because cabbie has done okay for me there. It's just this layered lace skirt. I will look up the style number, because, um, you know, some of the cabbie pieces, it is old tag cabbie, some of the cabbie pieces, the older ones still do sell well, because they are sought after, so I'll check it out. Um, this next one... Oh, okay, this is sometimes sold at Anthro, but it doesn't have the RN number on here. It's called Curio, and I do, I have picked up a couple of the, their sweaters. It's generally sweaters from what I've seen, but, and I don't think this one has buttons, so it's just kind of, oh, it does. These cute little knitted buttons here. Oh, real cute. Anyways, just this knitted sweater, and the comps are pretty good on them. Don't ask me offhand. I want to say like 30 or more. And that's being conservative. Okay. This next item, I think, I can't remember which haul this is from. Sorry, that's my dog. Um, which haul this is from, because it's a culmination of three different haul, or three different Goodwill outlet trips last week. I want to say my friend Hillary gave me this, but I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm fairly, we were fairly certain that this is Bowden with the Bowden tag cut out. It's a size 20R. But, I mean, this is such, like, a spring dress. It's so cute. So, of course, I grabbed it. Hello, Angie. How's it going? Um, Marjorie, you just started selling full-time last month. Congratulations. Bargain Boss. Found Lumiere's a few months ago. believe it's only sold online. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, next item is... This halogen jacket, I kind of like this. I kind of want to keep it. It's a size 16. So halogen is one of Nordstrom's house brands. Uh, it kind of fits. Oh, I don't know if it's my style. Look at this. Can you see? Oh, that, okay, wait, hold on. Let me, let me zip. Oh, this is kind of weird. I mean, it pairs really well with this LuLaRoe tee. I don't know what you guys think. So... <laughs> It's kind of cute. Uh-oh. I might keep it. <laughs> okay. Anyways, halogen It is Nordstrom. So it's a size 16. There's that. Okay. The next one I think is another Bowdoin piece. Yes. 
This is a size 12 long and it's got these cute fun little stitched circles, embroidered circles down here. Put that there. Okay. Next we have, oh, this is Toad & Co, which I believe is Horny Toad, which they now go by Toad & Co. And this is a size extra small sweater. Navy blue, I believe it's 100% wool. That's what it feels like. Lamb's wool, no less. Okay, next piece is Vince, and this is a size large. I think it's just an open front sweater. Sorry, I'm looking at it. I don't think there's a belt, or if there is one, it's missing. Again, let's model it. Yeah, it's cute. I don't know if there's a belt. Um, there is like a little snag here, which I'll just pull through so it can't be seen, but this is nice. I mean, you know, kind of going out of the season of sweaters, but of course when it's at the bins, I'll still pick it up because the price is right on it. And this one is 50% wool and 50% yak. So that's a first for me. Um, let's see, what do we have next? Okay, next is an Old Navy dress. This is new with tags. Again, this is another maternity item. And it's got these cute little buttons here, the little empire waist, faux wrap style. There's that. Sorry guys, I'm just um, doing a couple things real quick here. Okay. Uh, Keisha says, has anyone ever used bow nash to repair a sweater? I don't even know what that is. What does that mean? What's Bo Nash? Does anyone know? <laughs> um, okay. Next item I have is this Zara Woman sweater. It is a size medium. Again, going out of sweater season, but this is so cute. See how it's got? It's like a like a, almost like a tweet. Is this tweet? Um, this little ruffly thing here. I'm going down the back. So there's that. I like that dress. I wish that it wasn't maternity though. I know, isn't that the worst? Um, you know what I'm always guilty of, that's my joke when I go to the bins, is I find something that's really cute and I pick it up and I'm like, oh, this is cute. And then I, it's a pillowcase. <laughs> Cause I just see the print and I'm like, oh, this is really cute, whatever this is. Okay, um, next item I have is Fashion Nova. I don't know if I've sold Fashion Nova before. I've definitely heard of it. But I just thought this piece was cute. It does button up a little bit more, but it's just this striped shirt with the little, like, not a tie, but tied together waist. I feel like that's how we used to wear our shirts, like, in the 90s. You'd, like, knot it down there. Um, next item. Oh, Keisha says, it's a sweater bonding agent. Okay, that's why it sounded familiar. I feel like I saw somebody posted that on Instagram and I was super curious about it. So if somebody has used Bow Nash, let us know. Um, Cause that's cool. Bargain Boss says the Fashion Nova will sell. Awesome, that's great. Uh, Liz, is that you? Hi Liz, how's it going? Good to know on the sweater stuff. Okay, I looked up comps on this and it was good. I don't remember how much, but this is Hugo Biscotti Milano. It's 100% silk. And it's just a blazer, if you can see it there. Yeah, I can't remember what comps are. I know they were good, okay? Hugo Biscotti. It sounds like biscotti, which those are delicious. <laughs> okay, uh, next piece is a Jones wear dress. This is a size 16. I bought it for size and style. It's a real cute, springy looking dress. And it does have boning in it, which kind of surprised me. So yeah, they're taking this dress serious. Uh, Andy Wright says, what do you mean by comps? Looking up comps like how much stuff sold for. So I would look up comps on the Hugo Biscotti to see how much it sold for. There's an app that I use called Completely, but if you don't have the Completely app, you can use checkaflip.com. That's another resource if you've never used that website. 
Um, bargain boss, how often do I go to the bins? Uh, like once or twice a week, and then sometimes no times a week. It just depends how fast I process things. Um, all right, let's go to the next item. Okay, this next one is, I think this is Target, if I can find the tag. Yep, it's a new day, which is sold at Target. This is a size large, and again, a little one shoulder piece. This feels really sheer, but maybe not when it's on. You know what's interesting? From the inside, it looks more sheer, but anyway, it does have a belt. I'm a little bummed that it doesn't have the tag because a lot of the times you can find new with tags, uh, Target items at the bins, but that's okay. Okay, the next piece I have is this. <laughs> I've never heard of this. It's called Flap Doodles. It's a size five. Can you see it? But it's just this nice lightweight spring jacket. So I figured some mom is gonna want that for their child. Um, yeah. Hi, Jacqueline. How's it going? Uh, Carly says, is there a magical formula anyone would recommend for makeup on clothes? Ooh, I don't know. Sarah Alexander says, love flap doodles. Where is it sold? I've never heard of it. Let me know. <clears throat> okay, the next piece I have is this. Oh, I feel like I looked up this and this was maybe also good. I can't remember. It's called Issy Miyake. I feel like this one is good, okay? Sorry, I don't know the comps offhand. Actually, I could probably look it up right now um, while we're doing this. I'll go to checkaflip.com because I do have my computer up here. If you know that Issey Miyake is good and you can beat me to the punch, then tell me. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is good. I mean, the comps that I'm pulling up right now... Let's see if I can show you. Now, obviously I haven't drilled this down further, but it is showing completed listings with an average sold price of $126.50. So there you go. I was able to pull up a comp there. Yeah, wow. Sweet. Whoa, somebody sold a shawl scarf for $259. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and see your comments. Um. Oh, somebody said, love the cologne. Okay, good to know, they have a cologne. Hi, Lily, hope you're feeling better. Somebody said they used shaving cream to remove foundation from a white dress. Okay, cool. Awesome. Hi, Christine, glad you made it to my live. Oh wait, but you said, I'm Jackie. Hi, Christine Jackie. <laughs> okay, next item I have is this. Tahari dress. It's a size 14. I just thought it was really pretty and I actually might send this one to thread up. Maybe. I don't know. I felt like this was like a good career piece, maybe career to evening wear piece. So, um, Nicole just joined. Can you remind me of the website you're using to look up comps? I use two different sources. So I like to use the Completely app. It's called Completely and it's available in the app store. It's like $3, just like a flat $3. You don't pay every month. It's just like $3. Um, and it's for eBay comps. Can you use it for Poshmark? Totally, but it is eBay comps. Otherwise the free website that I use is called checkaflip.com. So check that out, literally. Laura uses Dawn hydrogen peroxide and warm water to remove makeup. Sweet, that sounds like a good recipe. Um, what else? Okay, cool. I'm gonna keep going. I only have a few more pieces in here, guys. Um, the next one I have is a Free People Beach top. I've never seen this Free People Beach tag. It's like this little metal piece, so that was kind of interesting. This is a size small. It feels like it's linen, like a linen burnout material almost. But maybe it's not linen because it's too soft. Oh, and they cut the tag. Wonderful. <laughs> but it's just a button-down shirt. This will be great for summer. Mm, the next item, <laughs> it just dropped out of my hands, is a skirt from Odile. So this is sold at Anthropology. It's a size zero. Super cute print. Love that. Love the yellow. 
Uh, what else do we have down here? Oh, a swimsuit. And I think it's a pregnancy one because it's called Prego. <laughs> Either that or it's Italian. Um, it's a size small, but no, this is a maternity one. And it's got, you know, what is it called? Halter. And I really like this print. This is really cute. So awesome. Uh, these were super fun. They're just old navy, but they are the Rockstar Mid-Rise. They are a size four. Um, if you check the care tags down here, it'll tell you a little bit of information, but it, it says it's the metallic, rock metallic silver from July 2017, but they are metallic. Almost like a purpley tint to it. So these were just so fun, I had to grab them. And I love picking up old navy jeans. I love picking up old navy jeans and American Eagle Outfitters. So, because that's just like $20 every day of the week. Um, Let's see. Hi, hot hanger. I'm glad you caught me live also. Angie says, bought a older Michael Kors purse from a thrift store that I volunteer at. Does anyone know where I can go and see what it's worth? Yes. Use checkaflip.com or eBay solds or Poshmark solds. Um, any of the above or completely. If you want to download the completely app, it is only available for iPhones. Man, I wish I was getting a commission on telling you guys that, <laughs> but I'm not. Okay. Second to last piece, ah, uh, has a stain on it. So, hmm, I might try and treat that because it is new with tags. It is INC, which I think that tag said Macy's. Did it say Macy's? I'll look at it again. But it's kind of this two piece set. It has like the camisole built in with those little rosettes. Um, yeah, I might try and treat that. Yeah, it's Macy's because it's new with tags. So yeah, Ivanya Miyake is really good. Awesome. Okay, last two pieces. Sorry, I had to go out of the frame. Um, one, not super exciting, but it is a new with tags bra strap. <laughs> bra. This is Vanity Fair, originally $40. I love selling intimates. If you're not picking up intimates in new or good condition, consider doing it. Wow, okay. And last was this super cute super fun adorable bikini that i found here's the top and here's the bottom what are the odds that you find a top and a bottom at the bins like this never happens um and this is from mod cloth so it says high dive by mod cloth size medium so yeah super cute <sighs> that is the end of today's clothing haul guys um I'm just gonna read over any other questions or comments. Miyake, oh, you sold a scarf for $60? Great, that's awesome. Denali, I was the one you helped with. What do they mean when a love note? Oh, okay, cool, I'm glad. Are you an ambassador Ambassador now? Let me know. Um, that That's it for my haul. Do you guys have any questions before I go? Comments? What are you guys doing today? I'm just stalling because I'm gonna have to go work after I show you guys all this stuff. So I was gonna meet my friend Ty at the bins. She is at the bins right now, but she's going to the Seattle bins. And I didn't wanna drive down to Seattle. So she might come up north later and go to the Everett bins. So maybe I'll join her there for just a little bit to hang out. And I mean, you know, I'll probably buy a few things, but that, that happens. So, um, yeah. Oh, Tori, you're welcome for breaking up your day. I hope you're having a good work day. Uh, Angie, yes, I will save this so you can go back and watch. But other than that, um, if you guys are enjoying my live hauls, please give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate that. Oh, somebody just gave a weird comment. We'll hit hide on that. <laughs> Oh, people come into these chats and leave the weirdest messages. I think they just find that people are live and they're like, I'm going to write something super crazy. Um, Keisha, thank you again for the Magnolia Pearl info. Great haul. Awesome. I'm so glad that Magnolia Pearl tidbit helped you. Did you find it? Because if you find Magnolia Pearl, you are instantly rich. So that would be great. Oh, glad to hear that you're an ambassador now. That's awesome. That's great. Are, am I going to the bins in Orlando or 100% vacation? 
it's vacation. I would love to go thrifting while I'm there, but my husband and my son would absolutely kill me. It's not to say that I won't work while I'm on vacation. That will still happen. I'm going to try and do as many scheduled listings ahead of time as like as much as I can. Um, I just hate that on eBay it costs like 10 cents to schedule a listing ahead of time and I'm cheap, hence I shop at the bins. So the thought of paying 10 cents for a scheduled listing just irritates me. So anyways, but I'm gonna try and have a bunch of drafts or scheduled listings built up so that I can just be publishing them while I'm on vacation. I will not be putting my store on vacation mode because that will kill my sales, that will kill your sales. So don't do that unless you're gonna be gone for like a month or something like that. But I'm only gonna, gonna be gone for just a little over a week. But, um, yeah, so I would love to go thrifting while I'm there, but I can't. But are the bins good in Orlando? Because, you know, maybe I'll just take a personal vacation there. So, yeah. Um, I've always wanted to go to the Marshalls Runway stores. I think there's one there. Does that count as thrifting? <laughs> I know. I There's like, I feel like there's no getting away with that sort of stuff when you are part of a, like, a little reseller family. <laughs> well, I can't say I want to go to Nordstrom Rack or Marshalls without my husband or my son thinking that there's probably some ulterior motives to that. So I just don't think I would get away with it. Plus, we're not going to be renting a car. We are staying at a Disney property. So the nice part of staying at a Disney property is that you get um, their bus transportation, which takes you to everywhere that you need to go for the most part. Um not going to do any Universal Studios or anything like that just because it's a lot of thrill rides and my son is like not quite ready for that. So he's already, Oliver is super hesitant about going on Splash Mountain and Space Mountain. He's been watching these videos on YouTube where it's like, uh, what's it called? It's like Disney, Disney World ride fails. It's like when the ride fails and people have to get off of the ride. And so... He was watching the one about Space Mountain. He's like, I really hope this happens when I'm on Space Mountain. I go, why? And he goes, so I can get off. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. So he's, we've been, I've been trying to like build him up to the idea of going on some thrill rides um, because yeah, he's hesitant about that. But yeah, um, Rosario said going to Universal and Disney in April, I mentioned thrifting. The husband and kids, they all rolled their eyes. Yeah, you know, it just, yeah, it's not gonna work. It's, they see right through us, you know? Uh, Thomas Ever After, oh, you guys are a Disney family? That's awesome. I love Disney, I just do. Last year for spring break, we went to Aulani, which was a whole lot of fun. Um, it's really expensive, and I don't know that I would go back there again, but it was nice to go once, so. Yeah. Um, oh, you wish you were going to Goodwill Outlet with me? I know. It would be fun. It'd be fun to, like, take everybody with at once. Uh, hot hanger. You might see me there. You're a pass holder. Oh, lucky. So jealous of that. Uh, Sarah said, that sounds like something our older teens would show our little ones. Yeah. We watched a video, actually, last night, and it was some live YouTuber going on a ride at Disney Animal Kingdom. So Oliver and I watched that as like a trying to get him used to <laughs> pretending to go. We were pretending to go on a ride. So yeah. Um, all right. Well, I think I have, oh, Lauren, is there a haul tomorrow? There's going to be a haul tomorrow. I'm going to do it because I got one more basket of stuff. So hopefully I can photograph and work my way through most of these items today. Yeah and the accessories, because I didn't photograph that stuff yesterday, I was out running errands. So I am gonna do a haul, probably the same time as now, so if you guys are around and you wanna join me, that would be fun. Um, I've never been to the character warehouse at the outlet by Disney Springs, tell me more. I wanna know what this is, so. Uh, yeah, anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, give me a thumbs up, there's 78 of you. Hit that button. Beep. I don't know where it is. Beep. Hit the button down below. Hit the button up above. Um, and feel free to drop your closet name because somebody wants to follow or share your stuff. So thanks again, guys. I'm going to head out now. Deeply discounted merchandise. Okay. All right. I will go. Thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. Bye, guys. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place.
Hit the like button or I won't show up. Just kidding. I'll show up.